In the last episode, we tried to fold toilet paper so we could safely travel up to outer space. Whoa, guys, you guys know I'm afraid of heights, right? The team did not end up making it to outer space. Today, we have an experiment planned that might be just as good as the last experiment, if not better. Wow. Basically, this is how the experiment's gonna work. We're gonna put one magnet here in California, one magnet here on the other side of the world. If we can measure the magnetic connection through the Earth, the Earth is round. So the opposite side of the globe is Kazakhstan. And we have sent someone to Kazakhstan, someone who's actually from Kazakhstan, agreed to do this experiment with us and collect our magnetic rays. Harvard has been doing studies on different types of soil. They've concluded that in Southern California, there's a very high concentrated amount of iron in these mountains. Can we have a pen? Basically, we're gonna charge this entire mountain range up to be theoretically the world's biggest magnet if we hit the numbers. Nathan doesn't seem nearly as excited about this experiment, which is kind of strange. For the experiment, you said the diameter of Earth is under 8,000 miles? 7,900. How, how did you determine that? Towards Towards previous us. findings. We, yeah. we based it off of that, so this will be... So you're working off the presupposition the Earth has a diameter under 8,000 miles. How did yes. you determine well, that? Well, short answer is that's just what was taught to us in class. So we're... Brilliant. You're probably thinking that these magnetic rays are very dangerous to be around. You would be correct. There is one material, however, that blocks these rays, which is rubber. That's why I've ordered three rubber duck costumes to prevent these rays from harming our bodies. I just am worried mostly about Nathan because he's going to want to look at the legitimacy of it. He needs to have a suit on. You have to wear it. I'll wear it. No worries. I, we needed rubber. What it, this has the... I do not feel any rubber in this. This is funny as hell. I think for the safety of like everything, every time you're entering this zone, can, maybe like a high pitched like entrance. 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 Okay, stay away from this area. Yeah. Um, I need to get my phone. Yeah, let's message him. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> that scared the shit. That's like, don't do it in like five minutes. I didn't even. Did it shock you? Do not enter this area without the suit. That could have been really bad, so. Now that we know our magnet is up and running, it's time to send our signal to Kazakhstan. So you know how Morse code works, right? You're gonna send a pulse? Yeah, so we're sending a magnetic pulse, that way they know it's us. Yeah, I'm gonna just stand over here that way. Exiting! Um, we send a message basically to them, and I'm gonna put it right here. What message should we send them? SOS. That's it? Uh, that works for me. He said we're getting a signal, can you update it? SOS is the code. We got the code that fast? Touching computer! Oh my god! It's 100% flat. They're telling them it's flat. The results are showing the Earth is flat. We just ran our percent error and the Earth is definitely flat. It's 100% flat. The signal is coming from the north, not down. Wow. This doesn't, it doesn't really match add up. the hypothesis. Um, what, what was the hypothesis? The round. Earth is round. That, I, mean, I know it's round. But with this finding, I mean, it, it, it like, we've been testing this stuff for two and a half years. And so we've, we've run tests on small models. It always worked in our favor. And then- Were the models you were testing on balls? They were gloves. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you're not testing on a ball, guys. The earth is flat. But no, that's what I'm saying. Like we were testing on a small ball. Yeah. And so it, it's just confusing that it's not. Um, I'm not confused at all. <laughs> I know exactly what's going on. The signal came from the north, not underground. That's exactly what I expected but to happen. The way we set this up is, and the way we've tested it is, we are expecting 100%, 150% for it to be a globe, and so we're. This obviously yeah, this is kind of like earth shattering news for everyone, but for me, if the earth is flat and I can believe that, then I can be with Brianna. There we go! Oh. Dude, happy ending! Because after her probably arguing with you for so long, for you to come all the way to California and be like, honey, like... I don't call her honey. Alright, well... I don't know. I can't believe that just happened. Maybe this is the 
they like miss the percent error? Man, they didn't. Um, they're in Kazakhstan, I don't know. dude. It's like it's 100% proven now the earth is flat. Like, you did, have did they to triple do. check the percent Bro, errors? They have been out there checking it. Exiting suit. Exiting suit. My name is Brandon Buckingham. I'm an official Guinness World Record validator, and I'm here to see about the largest magnet in human history. I just have to see the numbers if we really broke the gauze record. My girlfriend broke up with me because she's a flat earther. She's gonna take me back now, now that I believe the earth's flat. Dude, I'm rooting for you, man. Entering. Entering. I don't know what it takes to verify a world record, but like everyone here saw it, I guess. I just so. Check the number on the computer, and we're good to go. Wow. It's looking pretty good, you guys. Man, your numbers are looking pretty good. My gosh. I was skeptical. I'll be honest, I was skeptical. So I'm here to present the award to Benjamin Fisher and Blake Powers for the largest magnet measuring 25 square miles and 700,000 gallons. That is confirmed. Congratulations, guys. You've done it. This is my first world record. And mom, I hope I made you proud. Yeah. Brianna, I love you. I hope you'll take me back. I, we have the same beliefs now, so yeah. Woo! Yeah. Not every day you break a world record. Congratulations, boys. Tons of credibility with the test that we did. Also having Guinness here to verify it. To be honest, living as a globe earther my entire life, I have no clue what to think right now. However, there is one final thing that has to be done. In my opinion, we are all heroes here, and heroes never look at their own explosions. It is a sorry day for the globe. These guys from Harvard, they had a rod into the ground. Kazakhstan reported that they received the signal within 12 seconds. But they received the signal, not vertically, but they received it horizontally or laterally. I have one thing to say for you. Test it, you oh. No. This is huge, is it not? Kind of groundbreaking news for this. It was unprecedented, needless to say. We're a very complete shot. My name is Ben Fisher. Oh, introduce to Harvard. I'm okay. A, I'm a, I'm a... It's in Guinness. It's almost like a flat earth certificate or something. The Earth it's is not, not flat. flat. Wait, it's testing. Oh, it's not round. It's flat. I messed up. The device was in the value of somewhere of seven hundred fifty thousand. Introduce yourself. Let Blake introduce oh, okay. himself, and okay. then me introduce. I mean, the truth is getting out there for sure. Like it or not, these globers are going to have to face the reality that they don't live on a globe. My name is Nathan Thompson. I'm a flat Earth researcher, and we have a message for you. The, the Earth, Earth is, is not round. round it's flat. flat. Test, Test it, it yourself. yourself. This is proof. Thanks, Guinness. Yeah, so it turns out these uh, rubber duck costumes don't contain any rubber at all. Uh, they're actually just costumes of a uh, rubber duck. So uh, we definitely got radiation poisoning today. Are you serious? Sorry, Blake. The fuck?